the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. Java's War was off slowly. There goes Uncaptured out for the early lead. Ryder Luke has speed early as well as expected, along with Undrafted, who's down toward the inside. Footbridge comes away in fourth. Palace Malice is fifth. My name is Michael, sixth for the move into the first turn. Charming Kitten, then West Hills Giant, who moves up from ninth on the far outside. Balance the books goes tenth. Fear the Kitten, eleventh around the turn. Then Channel Isle, Tessa Run, the late running Dynamic Sky, and Java's War after that poor start is absolutely last heading off the first turn up the back stretch undrafted is the leader toward the inside but right Luke is right alongside the opening quarter went in 23 and 4 fifth seconds an honest pace up front gap of three back to uncaptured in third three parts of a length palace malice fourth toward the inside footbridge fifth up on the outside my name is Michael six between horses West Hills giant between horses in seventh tesseron moves up eighth against the rail five lengths off the lead then balance the books in ninth Charming Kitten 10th, Fear the Kitten 11th, Channel Isle, then Dynamic Sky next to last, and Java's War the trailer, 48 seconds the time for the first half mile, Ride to Luke has the lead by two lengths around the far turn, Undrafted is second, Uncaptured is third up on the outside, Palace Malice finds an opening toward the rail, and Palace Malice from fourth to second, but three lengths off the lead of Ride to Luke, Uncaptured needs to find more and find it quickly, Undrafted drops back and forth, Charming Kitten is trying to get on track with Java's War on the far outside, but a long way to come. Here's Palace Malice coming after Ryda Luke. They're at the eighth pole. Java's War and Charming Kitten and Balance the Books all running late, but Palace Malice, the closest threat to Ryda Luke. Java's War is still coming. So is Charming Kitten. Java's War chasing Palace Malice. Java's War from last to first for Julian Leperu. They have won the Toyota Bluegrass. Turn last. Java's War picking him up and laying him down like a house of cards in the Toyota Bluegrass. Java's War, next stop, the Kentucky Derby. From Big last by Java's War. He's a terrible gate horse. He left the gate terribly today. He wasn't even the picture when they went in the first turn. But man, what a powerful finish. And getting an extra eighth of a mile in the Kentucky Derby in another three weeks could be right up his alley. Absolutely. Last to first to win it here with Java's War. The trip for the 13 rider look. Absolutely what Gary Contessa wanted. No real excuses. He was getting a little leg weary late. Let's pick it up, Tony, for home. Here's Ryder Luke on the lead. Far left of your screen. Coming into the picture with the nose band and the yellow silks is Java's War, who comes from dead last. There's Ryder Luke on the front end. There's the four out in the middle of the track there. And I'll tell you what, Palace Malice made a number of runs at Ryder Luke and finally got past him. But I don't think he saw the four coming down the center of the track there with Julian Leperu. I think the two horses in the lead were getting a little leg weary. To boot. Was. There goes Palace Malice switching to his left lead. Oftentimes when a horse does that late, he's swishing getting tired. Swishing tails, too. Swishing tails as well. Julian Leperu giving Kenny McPeak his second Toyota Bluegrass victory. He won it back in 2002 with Harlan's Holiday. Yes, Kenny, you're going to the Kentucky Derby with owner Charles Fipke and Julian Leperu. The mile and an eighth completed here in 150 and one. Java's War with a dramatic finish here in the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes, just getting the win. What an exciting addition here. And as you guys pointed out, everything played out. I don't think anyone can complain about their trips in here. Like you said, Ryder Luke, who officially was your post-time favorite at 7-2, to two, got everything he wanted, just had no response down the stretch. And so it kind of almost makes Java's War just as impressive sure. considering how far he launched back against a moderate pace. No question. Ryder Luke got tired of me. He, as Tom mentioned, he was switching leads. He was switching tails. He just emptied out there. But Java's War got that great pedigree out of a stakes-winning mare in California, one at a mile and a half. He's going to love a mile and a quarter in three weeks. For Java's War, a serious contender now for the Kentucky Derby, franking the form of Verrazano as well. The horse that beat him in the Tampa Bay Derby last out. But it's Java's War's day in the Great One Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. We'll be back with more from Keeneland right after this.